back to the Cannabis Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Cannabis Reviews. Today, we're gonna be doing battle pre-roll. I've got four different pre-rolls, three of them from Trailblazer, one of them from Tweed, and we're gonna find out which one reigns supreme and how they actually stack up against each other. So we have Spark Stick Glow Stick, Prohibition Blend, and a Balance Blend. I think we should start with the Prohibition Blend and we'll move on to the others. So what's going on with Prohibition Blend? Hybrid Blend, 47.4 milligrams, so just shy of 10% THC. This is a half gram joint. 2019-02-12 was the day it was packaged. So quite a while ago, back in February, and Trailblazer, license is Organogram, unopened, non-broken duty seal, there's no CBD in it. Let's see what's going on inside here. Let's see if I can get into it too. I know there's a technique to this, but push tab, push tab, pull. Look, I got it. I am not a child. There is our joint. This is how much packaging we have for one half gram joint from Trailblazer. Chuck that to the side for now. We'll make sure to recycle it and pop this guy open. Looks pretty cool. This is how you would imagine legal weed being sold. And we have a nice little tiny joint with the top trimmed. Does it smell like much? Kind of like Lemon Pledge, Lemon Dawn. All right, there's our package. Not a resealable package, so you're gonna have to smoke your joint in one go. This is one dose. Got a Bic lighter, figured that'd be easiest. Well, let's take a look at the cannabis that's inside it quickly, just to see what's going on there. And I'll put a little bit in my hand. So you can see right away, actually, that there are some stems right there. So it is maybe the shake, um, but just that little bit, one nice big stem. So, eh. <laughs> Some of my predictions are coming true. I guess I really didn't want to see a stem, but there it is. Let's light it up and see how it smokes. It's very dry, finely milled, um, so it should, should burn pretty well. Roast the tip a little, no more than 10 seconds. I'll blow out once. So first impression, it's quite tight. One of the complaints I've always heard is that all the pre-rolls run. A little salt and pepper burn. Tastes like it smells, lemon pledge. And a little bit of skunk. It's not overly enjoyable. But it's also not terrible. Um, the one part I'm having a hard time with, because it is so finely milled, uh, the canvas is quite tight in there, so I can't get a really big rip on the actual joint. You can see the ash, the burn, no oil ring is present at all. But no matter how hard I rip it, it's quite, uh, it's quite clogged up. And so, you know, that's indicative of too finely milled of a product packed too tightly. You notice that the top was cut and twisted, so maybe it was hand finished and really packed down in there. Itself, it tastes, it tastes like it smells. It's burning a little bit darker now that, that bottom half. All right, I think we've smoked enough to make a conclusion and let my cameraman have some. I would say it smells like it tastes. Um, I think I bought this joint for $3.50 from Fire and Flower. So for $3.50, you know, it's, uh, Exactly what I expected, if not a little bit better, to be super honest with you. Um, if this product was a half gram for more than $6, I would definitely not be looking to purchase it. Um, but pull, no good. Taste, all right. Ash, quite white. Did find some stems in it. Seven out of 10? Seven out of 10. Make sure you follow up on battle pre-roll Check out all the other videos. And while you're there, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Cheers. What's my name? What's my name?